This is your girl, Coco Brown. Welcome to the Coco Brown Show. They laughing at me because I just spit out a handful of Altoids. Was your mouth full? Yeah, my mouth was very full. You know, usually I can speak with my mouth full, but you know, it's been so long. You know, I've kind of lost my touch. But welcome, y'all, to the show. Why are you looking at me like that, Al? You didn't know what you was walking into? This is the Coco Brown Show. I'm going to say whatever the hell I feel, homeboy. Every day my new cinematographer looking at me like, what the hell did she just say? Everything under the sun. It's been a long weekend, show. child. I did you five pack shows at the Uptown Comedy Corner in Atlanta. I'm tired. And she brought it, y'all. She brought Thank it. Thank you. Coco needs her own special. Yeah, we so get into it. That, we we put doing that. that we put in the episode. Yes, I'm just going to shoot in my day. I'm tired of waiting. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, I got you. yes. I got you. We're going to yes. do this. You're going to do that. You're going to do that. Oh, you, you provide security. I know you got a uniform. Thing under the sun. You I know you got a uniform. You already know I do. Look, look, look. It's a little faded since the last movie, but I got you. I got you. I'm saying, though. I'm saying. What's up, family? How y'all doing tonight? What's up, Terry Crow? Hey, hey, hey. What's up, Koya Four? What's happening, everybody? What's up, C Craze? What's cracking? <laughs> what's up, Big oh, Lee? You already know, family. What's happening? Okay. What's up? You got something on your spirit right now? C Craze, I saw you was going to see something. You got something on your spirit, brother. Your skin is so smooth. What kind of berries and juices and My oils? Man. Like, you just look like big old, like you just use, you drank shea butter. What is going on over there? Your <laughs> shea just damn. smooth. And he smells good, too. Do we? Oh, he babed tonight? He came oh, over wow. and hugged me. Is that a bitch? Oh, you must got, got a woman. Got a chill. You done washed the balls? Oh, C Craze you got a woman. Got a C Craze done washed them balls? <laughs> Baby, see crazy. My balls every day, oh, twice now, a day. You over there glowing and shit. I yeah. wonder who got you all glowed up right mm. now. Mm. Nah, you, know, you, you know, I will powerful. credit this. I will What's credit this. What? He did have a delivery and a breakthrough last week. So he must be living his oh, best life. Yes, he is. Yes, you he know, is. you got broke free last week. You remember? Yes, with Dr. Sherry. Yeah, you got broke free. Mm -hmm. Nah, no, that's, it was, uh, no, that's he got some good pussy look. I'm sorry. Uh, now, I tried trying to save you. To you should have fell in it. I'm telling you right now what the hell I'm saying. That's some, I had some good do, pussy in the last 24 hour look. What he not going to do? He glowing over. When you make a thug glow, I know what it is. Because I've done it. Because I've done it. Because I've done it. I know what it looks like with a thug glow. Because I've done it. He's not. You're not going to do that. Um, nah, the music got me going. We officially started back working on a new album. Been in the studio all yeah. weekend. All right. Yay. So, you know, just a different energy. I got that nip energy in me. I feel so, you. I yeah. feel you. Carrying on. Yeah. It's a marathon. Continues, baby. Yeah. Yes. Still going. Yes. We're going to do it better, man. I yes. know that's right. You're going to take it to height that he ain't get a chance to. I saw you had it. a hater. We need to roll up on a heifer. Huh? Oh, yeah. We need to roll up too. on a heifer because I, I saw you had a hater. Cause you you know, seen that? I saw that. Yeah. I said, Ooh. Wasn't that ugly? I said, oh, my God. How you going to tell him to go join <laughs> Nip? <laughs> what? I said, they, oh, shit. They, they, they mad said, at the cuz out, out here. I said, this little heifer don't know. I roll up on you. They got lawyers. <laughs> I'll be out of jail. You're about to hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of hate out there, but it's all love. I just don't like when people try to use tragedy to try to poke their own agenda. Right. And what yes. happened was, right. the what's the chick from Fox News? Oh, yeah, what's her name, Laura Ingram? Laura Ingram. Yeah. yeah. They was talking about that, and then no, they was, no she, commented it, she commented on the post saying that she wished that more people would speak out about rappers who disrespect women. No problem with that, but this ain't the plot. This ain't for that. Because that ain't even right. nip. Right. Yeah, we that's, ain't even that's, talking that's, about that. That's, that's right. so we ain't even true. talking that's about so that true. at right. all. Right. And mm -hmm. she took it upon herself when I said that this ain't the platform for that. She told me to go join nip. Wow. Oh, wow. She we're going to pray for her. We're going to pray yes. for her. No, we're not. We're done praying. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. We're wow. done praying. You know oh, what? We got a whole conversation I want to have, and I need a pastor in here to keep me under. Uh, real talk, I, I had a conversation. Y'all know bro Man from the fifth floor, right? Yeah. Reginald Ballard. That's Check my boy, right? Yeah. Bro Man. What's up, bro Man? My hey, boy hey, posted man. this today that was so powerful, and it started this whole debate with a whole bunch of us today. I was on, I've never been on Facebook this long in my life going back and forth with people. And he had posted that the minute he stopped uh, uh, worshiping 
Jesus and this man-made mm -hmm. icon. Right. And he began to tap into something deeper and spiritual within himself. Right. Things began to really happen in his life. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, bruh, you know, at first I was like, well, bruh, you know, you can't give up on God or Jesus. He's, a, he's, he's, he's like, but it's, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a heavenly being. There's a, something more deeper than Jesus. You know, right. it's God. It's, 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 it's the atmosphere. It's the universe or whatever. Right. And you know, I had an epiphany and I said, and I know I'm probably, God, I hope Bishop Blake ain't on here right now. Cause he probably gonna call me and say, get off there. I need to talk to you. <laughs> but I realized when we were having this conversation this morning that everything I've prayed for, I never got. Facts. But everything that I said, I released to the universe and said, I'm not dealing with it no more, mm -hmm. I got. Mm -hmm. Facts. I, isn't that crazy? I've been praying for a man for a long time. I ain't got jack. Hey. I've been praying hey. for a new show that paid me like 50 grand episode, nothing. But I ain't had to pray about no money. Mm -hmm. I ain't had to pray about no, no house, mm -hmm. no car, mm -hmm. my child. Mm -hmm. All that's done. But everything I've been... <laughs> My knees talking about, please, God, please, Lord. I ain't got no, I said, mm. when I say I threw all that crap out in the universe today, I'm done. No disrespect, I love the Lord. Because he heard But I get it now. I yes. get it now. Yeah. But the thing about it is, God lives within us. Right. And so if we just have that faith in knowing that he lives within us and that what you believe you become. Right. Okay. And so if you carry your day, you carry on your day, believing that and putting that out in the universe, it, it will come to you. It really will. But see what happens, we pray. And before we finish praying, we're going back to our non-belief. Right. Yeah. Of not mm. being able to have anything. And mm. so that's what hurts us. Right. That's what hurts us. I mean, seriously, okay. I mean, I think about everything that I just said I'm done. I took my hands off and threw it into the universe. Mm -hmm. I just keep it in my mm -hmm. mind. I tell myself every day I'm rich. Mm -hmm. And I ain't been broken in a long time. Hey. But that's, I mean, but it's like, it's what you put in the universe. It's the laws right. of attraction. It's it, like that whole right. bad secret. That is so is. real. That it's is that right. energy. That's but right. see, me, I don't practice religion at all. I don't okay. follow no religion. Spiritual, right? No, I just believe in... Whatever you the put out into power. the world gonna come back to you, and and the higher power that controls that is just the type of energy that you project. Mm -hmm. Right. So if you running around and you projecting all negative shit, that's what you are gonna get back. If you right. running around, you projecting all positive shit, that's what you are gonna get back. Mm -hmm. I right. can't. I don't. I just don't follow religion. I just think it's all bullshit, and that's, it separates people. Exactly. That's so what you'll never hear me about. say Jesus this or you know, I don't. I don't do that. I just mm -hmm. don't practice that. I think it's just all something that somebody wrote and told you to believe. That is, that is very true. That's why I I'm mean, real talk is brother made it. I'm sorry. What you say, baby? No, I was saying that's why I always say good vibes only, man. That's all that is. Well, no, real talk. Like, bro, man, even said, he even said to somebody, he said, so when the slaves was hollering out for the Lord to save them. Right. What happened? I mean, what you got to think about it. We talking about masters that created a book and put it on all of us and said, yes, believe in Jesus. But then I forgot what scripture it was, but it's actually even on the internet where it said, Good. Obey your master as you would God. Speaking of that master, messed me up. Speaking of master, change the subject, Terry. <laughs> what go. I love hey. about the masters, <laughs> as Terry Cook says, masters. what I love about the okay, masters. Okay, what I love about the I masters. I you were alley oh, so and Tiger Woods, <laughs> Tiger Woods, at age forty-three, hadn't had a championship since two thousand eight. Came yeah. back. Came mm. back and won the Masters. He ate them weeds. Hey. He was on Perkins said he had why, no damn choice. Why, <laughs> no, he was on that belief that he could do it because he realized it was only halftime. He was still in, in the game. game. I knew she was oh. going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, I got to give me no, no, hey, Look, you should have ended it. Still so in Tiger the game. ain't going to give Nip the pop for that because you know that was Nip. That Nip there, let me get the let this nigga get one. Oh, so now Nip really is. Now Nip, you see Jermaine Nip Dupri, you see Jermaine Dupri yeah, catching all I that heat. I commented on that because he talked about uh, Nip, Nip Dupri was, was Jesus, and I was like, the metaphor is real, and everybody was like, finally somebody who understood because everybody else was telling him it's crazy. Yeah. it was a metaphor, fool. Yeah. It was a metaphor. But you know, people don't go to school. Y'all can't even write cursive right now. You don't even know what the hell a metaphor is. You barely know what accent is. <laughs> oh, like right. her, but now with your dumb Damn, accent. am I the only one that writes in cursive now? Uh, like you like the last generation. <laughs> the <laughs> last generation. But you know what bugged me out about now. that was how many people was going so hard. You can't compare him to Jesus and this and that. And do Jesus, you bugging. Nigga, you know Jesus? Right. You ever mm. met Jesus? I mean, they always talking Jesus about Jesus. Jesus went from 12 to 30 in the Bible. Nigga, you don't know what Jesus was doing for all them years. Jesus right. was in the manger. Right. These could have been out here. These could have been out here, part my friends, fucking with these hoes. 
We don't know what Jesus okay, now, Everybody so we, back we, up. Everybody we, back okay, up. Okay, okay. Uh-uh, we going to back up real quick. <laughs> okay. We ain't going to hit it. Uh-huh. Hit it, Terry. Oh, there you go. There she go. <laughs> Did you just throw holy water on she this Negro? <laughs> she going to put some oil on this Negro head. She going to join some shea butter. <laughs> but, <laughs> that was a but, baptism. But, but, not, but that's the point. When people, people be saying so scared, to say, stuff, scared, scared to say stuff because they're scared of that name because somebody told you to believe that it's in fear. Yeah, that's the point. 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 That's Somebody told you that you're supposed to fear something that's supposed to be good. No shame. There's more people out here that's scared of that. Brainwashing. That's scared of the idea of Jesus than embracing the fact that it's supposed to be good. So I'm supposed to follow that. It's more people that scared to do what they want to do because they're scared about going to heaven. But you know heaven. what? You know what I'm scared yeah, of? Yeah, written out of fear. No shame. You know who I'm scared of? What? That damn Kevin Hunter. Ain't that the man? Ain't, this, ain't that what you're saying? Kevin Hunter. Kevin Hunter. That's what I'm Kevin saying. Nigga, don't name? get us Kevin fucked up in the studio. Hunter. Don't you get us fucked up in the studio. Kevin Hunter. We did not say that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you still eating food? That's what I'm it was. I'm eating actual, it actual Hunter. It dropped in your mouth and it cut you, it cut you off a little bit. That's what that yeah. was. Bro, okay. you got to so chill. Go, go ahead and tell okay. us. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. He, he met Kevin, Kevin he, Hunter. He on chill. He on, he on chill he time. Kevin Hunter. I just lost the mojo. No, he only got, funny. no, no, seriously. You, it was actually funny, man. <laughs> what happened? He just took my mojo away. Did he really? But that's what he does. Why'd you let him? But I got one oh. for you. Let me just flip this out oh. here real quick. Oh. Get you together. Oh. Flip okay, your hair. Okay. Okay. No, but I was serious about that, though. Like Hold Kevin, up. We got to go to break soon. So I don't oh, want to get no deep-ass com- g- g- conversation about so Kevin. So how Hunter. about if we just started out about um, uh, uh, your, uh, our Wendy, Williams. Wendy Williams? Go ahead. Okay, then, then when we come back, you can roll into that, okay? We got a really works? nice guest tonight, too. But I really want you just to know. We do have a great guest tonight. <laughs> Real show. Comedian, yes. legendary yes. actor, legendary actor Stephen Williams. I'm talking mm. about as far back as Cooley High, honey. Yes. Okay. yes. You know your yes. shit. If you're an actor and you don't know who he is, kill yourself. That's what I'm going to say right now. Because you know who the hell came uh, before us. Who's stepping in his shit right now? Oh my gosh, she's been everywhere. all that. Brothers. Check that. If you don't know what IMDb is, look it up and go find him. him? Yes. Okay. Yes, know your yes, shit. Yes. Know your shit. Mm-hmm. I know that you cannot be under the rock on this one for me. Okay. No. Google real quick. Okay. Google blue, real quick. Blue, 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 please, please, please. High. Thank you so much. Shy. He was oh, actually in one of the first. Uh, Somebody the hit 20, me today. Talk about uh, ooh, I love. I about, Twenty-one ooh, Jump Street. That's that's Aretha Franklin's ex. I said, "Fool, that's Glenn oh. Turman. That's Glenn Turman, you idiot. And you're an actor. Oh, you just lost all your I'm acting weak. credits. You dumbass." I'm weak. You don't know who the hell. I'm weak. I'm weak. <laughs> I can't stand these non-educated actors out here getting right. by. We had to know who the hell walked right. in the shoes that we walk in now. Right. Well, before, we go, before we go to break, let's give a shout out to our sponsor. Yes, give a shout out to okay. our sponsor, Terry. Okay, our, our sponsor is Sherelle Anderson. So if you want to fix your credit, text the words credit repair at 678 678- 770-2170. If you want to make some cash, text the word agent at 678-770-2172. Thank no you, glasses girl. needed. Hey. Hey. No, hey. no glasses needed. That's because and I if you guys thoughts. want to call in tonight, if, not, if you guys want to call in tonight and talk to our guests, talk to us, the number is 770-703-5494. That's 770-703-5494. We'll be right back, y'all. Guest Evan Lionel, actor Stephen Williams in the house, y'all. We'll be right back. C-O-C-O-A. Uh-huh. C-O-C-O-A. That's right. C-O-C-O-A. Don't forget the A-C-O-C-O-A. Coca Brown. I'm a grown ass woman. One funny mama. One sexy mother. The Coca Brown Show. Where grown folks come to sip tea and catch the tea. Uh oh. Mommy got the microphone What's again. What's up, y'all? We back, man. The Coca Brown Show. Oh I my God. <laughs> Y'all do not understand what is going on up in this piece right now. Y'all do not understand, wow. man. Okay. First of all, we was going to go into something else. I can't even right now because who I got sitting beside me is a legend. Yes. Are we on the air? Yes, you're on the air. You're on the air. <laughs> Baby. No. Y'all wow. do not understand. You can I can wow. Y'all go to the YouTube oh, channel yeah. right now. Yeah. Please, please, please. <laughs> go to foxtrapradio.com. Right go now. to YouTube backslash Coco Brown Life right now. We have the legendary actor extraordinaire. Stephen Williams in the house. If y'all do not know who the hell he is and you call yourself an actor, kill yourself. Kill yourself. This man has done more. 
that I have wigs in my house. Okay. Oh, 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 that's oh, a lot. He's done 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 a lot. He's <laughs> um, be on safe yeah, regard of everything that's about to go down tonight. Okay. I'm be on put safe regard. On and, like, keep my cowboy hat on. Yeah, you got to say that. Just, just make yeah, it just slick it, slick it right up slick under the yeah, uh, yeah. snake skin. Okay. Slick it right up under the snake skin. Now they made me look like a total fool. There you go. See what they did to me, y'all. I'm weak. Oh my wow. God. And we got my boy, comedian, actor extraordinaire, Chicago's own Evan Lynette. Was wow. ripping it up this weekend with yes. the Uptown Comedy oh, Corner, making yes. a half of work. Oh, but I love up. it. Oh, I love when I get to work. If I ain't yes. working and I ain't got the right person in front of me, okay? Come on, you know it was you a two, Y'all got a two-headliner show this weekend. I hope yeah, y'all did. They did. Yes. For real. Y'all did really? not get no little young really? buck. Y'all got really? it. That's, that's a yes. full-fledged oh, vet in the game. Yes. Right yes. All over the country. He brought it. It was a great show. It was. It was a great show. So I come out for you. You my Lucius. You my Lucius. Hey, man, listen, man. We happy to be here, man. Hey, Cookie, man. Do you do that when you say when you have a sex? I'm just curious. Like, do you do that when you have a sex? She can close her eyes and fantasize. She with Lucius. Do you put like. Open your mouth more, man. <laughs> you know it's hard out here for a pimp. It is. No, it's trying, trying to get, get his money for the rent. You ain't no Nick. Oh, y'all. Oh. You ain't no DJ. Nick. That's what's oh, up. Oh, my God. I love it, man. We, we've been oh, in here yeah. talking about a lot of stuff, you know, and I'm, I'm glad. I mean, I'm so honored that you guys are here. Yes. Wow. I mean, got to hang out with you. You're on the new show, Ambitions, by Will Packer. I'm having a ball. We heard you that you was getting it in just I in rehearsal. I'm having a ball. <laughs> <laughs> We're shooting at Tyler Perry Studios. It's going to be on Oprah's Network. No, that's so right. Kinda, yeah. kinda like, it's not like I'm in bed with him, but I've been introduced to that camp. So I'm feeling really, I ain't never even met none of them, but I'm feeling really good just by being there. I yeah. know that's yeah. right. Yeah. And I got a, a, a fabulous cast here. Yeah. I got Robin Gibbons. I got Brian White. I got Essence Atkins. I got oh. Kendrick Cross. We got Karan Riley. And Donna Diamond, who plays my wife? I don't know. Uh, who plays my wife? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You not Don't feel bad. That's half of America. Why, this is why they don't let me outside a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. There's so many people that I'm having such a wonderful time with. You know, the producers, the directors, <laughs> and this cast. And I'm so fortunate to be working it. And I saw these two. It was so cool. Me and Evan get to be in town together for the first time in a long time. Finally. You know, because we hang out together in L.A. Okay. And uh, we are... We find ourselves working in the same you know, city. In the same city, making a little rent, you know, like uh, clothing, money, food, that, 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 yeah. insurance. Uh, uh, American the most wanted in the same city at the same, city at the same city. time. I got to go to see the show, and, and, you know, and I got to see Coco, and it was just, yeah. I had a fabulous time. They both killed. I went on a Saturday yeah. night, yeah. and they both killed, and I had a fabulous time. It's the first time I've been able to go out in Atlanta because all I see is the hotel and you know mm -hmm. the right. studio yeah, whatever set I'm going to yeah, that yeah. particular yeah. night yeah. and Saturday night I usually got to go out you know and deal with something creative yes. and enjoy you know, yourself yeah yeah yes. and watch some art yes. and some art from my from coming from my friends you know so you yeah. know so they lighten some of these young people out here that may not know who the great Stephen Williams is just a few of the accolades you have accomplished okay I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna rattle off some credits and I hate to have to do this <laughs> now think about this shit. <laughs> no, 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 think no, about no, this no, you're no, supposed no, to be able to say no, Stephen Williams and we don't have to do this we shit. Know. But, right. 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 we are going to no. We are going to do it Duke, any damn way. Okay? It, it goes back to no, the Blues Brothers. Let's try the Blues Brothers. Blues Brothers. Come on. There we go. The original movie was Coolie High. Coolie High. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Come on, Coolie High. And then, and then there came come something on, come like come 21 Jump Street. There you yes. go. Yes. The originator. Okay. Supernatural Links. Me and Pam Grill, George Stanford Brown. Right. Uh, uh -huh. Tim Reed Creation. Yes. We yeah. went into uh, what are the L.A. Heat, yeah. uh, Supernatural. Uh -huh. yes. You know, all my shit's been iconic too. Yeah, uh, yeah. Hey, but the crazy part some about that. Interesting them. characters, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. the crazy part about you back in Twenty Two Jump Street, though. No, I've never done any they of the movies. No, yeah. those motherfuckers never asked me to walk through not one what? frame. <laughs> are you serious? They never asked me. They to never walk. thought you do you do Come on. Jump Street without Captain Fuller walking Come through Come on. Frame. Exactly. Both of those movies failed to ask me to walk through a frame. Wow. No problem. Mm. No problem. Not bothered. But right, not what? bothered. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank hey, hey, you. Steven, no, what I is, wish it would have happened. Don't get me wrong, y'all out there who would have hired me, who may hire me again. Don't get me wrong. Oh, now he fixed it. He thought about that no, shit, and then he said, about, oh. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so so like that. So so I've been around for a long time. Yeah. I've been around for a long time, and, and thank you to fans out there and everybody, yeah. and yeah. you know, and all my people, all my people. Yeah. I thank all my people too. All all the people that have been in my life, you know, that have contributed toward me being sitting here. And then you got some big fans next that watch the shine too. Next to my, I kicked ass in the shine. Nah, I'm about to say you got some fans. There. I'm about to say you got some fans. Yeah. Be loving that I, thing. I kick ass in the shine. Quentin Dixon, <laughs> y'all. And I just, you know what? While I'm while I'm on the radio, because I know this goes out to, and I'm gonna just do this. But that, uh, uh, to Barry Berg and 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 uh, Elwood Reed and uh, Adam Glass, uh, um, and my man David Rodriguez, I thank for the shy. Those mm -hmm. are my producers, my producer mm -hmm. slash director, oh. particularly David Rodriguez, as a director. Yeah. And Adam Glass wrote a couple of those episodes, mm. and we kicked ass. Yes. Yes. We really yes. had a nice time. It was some good creative That's shit. I enjoyed show. watching the shit. Yeah. And I'm not there this next season, so who you know they gonna get big. That's alright. You still working? Yeah, he actually yeah, working. That's working it constantly. Ain't gonna be shit, okay? Yeah, you know we were talking about oh, yeah. Lena, Lena, Lena. I'm sorry about that too. <laughs> you, but I, you know, I said my alimony checks gonna be. Yes, they are. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> I am weak. I am weak. Yeah, well, this, this being my future ex-wife. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. ex uh, oh, everything is solidified. Everything you is solidified. Sure you can handle Coco, dog. You better be what Coco I... real. Hey, I know, real I know. hey, 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 hey. Steve. I think I can handle that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, Steve. Steve. I, I think I can take her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What the hell is going on right now? <laughs> what is going Wait, on? Up, up, up. Steve. Uh, damn. That's the you know. <laughs> <laughs> all out of his look, chair. Have all the, look, Get have back all the in you your chair, <laughs> man. You know what I'm saying? Look, he damn near in her lap right about now. Exactly. Like, uh, damn. But Steve. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> what's up, Terry? Terry has a question for you. Steve, out of all the roles that you play, which one was your favorite? I don't, I, you know, that question's been asked. I've got about three. I loved Captain Fuller just because that show was relevant. Right. You know, if you really watch that show, for you old timers out there who really watch Twenty One Jump Street, that show all had, always had a moral thing. Really dealt with a lot of <laughs> teen issues, teen suicide, yeah. teen pregnancy, mm -hmm. homo, yeah, yeah. da 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 da. Mm -hmm. So I love that character from his mentorship right. kind of thing. I love Mr. X because that was just a deadly motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't know what was going to happen when he showed yeah. up. Somebody was going to die. Right. Something yeah. was going to happen. Yeah, was and I love it when you throw that X in the window. That shit used to I used to get a hard on from watching it like so. <laughs> it was like when you see I'm your weak. X in the window of the FBI building, the federal building, you, it's some, it's some testosterone got to run through you. Yeah, yeah. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So, and, um, and I love this character we did uh, for a couple of years uh, called L.A. Heat. Me and an actor named Wolf Larson, we basically did Lethal Weapon for television. Yeah. yeah. So we basically yeah. did Danny Glove and Mel Gibson, and yeah. it was so much fun. Yeah. You know, and, and I'm crippled because of it. I was in that hey. series with him. Oh, yeah. That yeah, yeah, sure was. Was. Yeah. Yeah. How long have y'all been friends? We got history. Uh, since I was a teenager. Wow. Um, long, long time ago. And that was just a couple ago. years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I can only win. Both of them. All right. All right, so, so, so Evan, I, I know, I mean, I've known you forever, and I know yeah. what you got popping. But these little millennials out here that don't know you, let them know who Evan Lionel E. L. is. Hey, 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 not, where they seen you, hey, 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 okay. Oh wow, not just not just a comedian uh, from the South Side of Chicago, but also an actor straight from the South Side of Chicago, theater, television, and film. But a lot of people don't know that side of me because when I get into character, you don't even know I'm in the movie. I'm so deep in the character. And you go, oh, that was you? Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's, that's what we live for. Okay. And I actually, how me and Steven came together is I signed to an agency. <laughs> Okay. And I was oh, I was no, I was like not. 19 oh, no, years old, not, and my first experience <laughs> no, with Steven. Hold on, dog. My first experience <laughs> with him was was I was sitting in a all it's all white folks, right? <laughs> all white agency. You know they like shit quiet. They yeah. like, shh, shh. Right. Steven Steven walked up in the door and said, "All right, everybody, take your clothes off." I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "Yo, she just ate something. You good?" <laughs> all white. <laughs> 
<laughs> about to put a hammock in a minute. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And I was like a slave. I was like, did this nigga really say this in front of all these white folk? It was wow. just me and him, and I was like, that's the kind of guy I want to be when I grow up. And from that point on, it was history. He's still too wild for me, man. Well, I, I, I see. I'm noticing this right now. Like, too wild. And then we <laughs> in a small world. We caught up because I did losing Isaiah Losin with Isaiah. Halle Berry. Yeah, yeah. And your family my, was on my that. Little co- my yeah. older cousin, actually. She's older than me by like uh, four years. Yeah. Little fat girl holding pizza. Yes. I'm very jealous of that. Y'all small met before world. we did. I'm very jealous. <laughs> I am very jealous. Wow. I am very jealous of that. Wow. Yeah, yeah. By the pizza or what, what part? <laughs> you got it. I knew you were going to go, because I watched you. I watched you. I knew you were going to go hella left with that one. No, I was jealous because my... You got to bring I see you marinated the hell out of that fruit. Get me one but of those. my older cousin being in the fact that she was in that movie with you and whatnot, it, yeah. it, it, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because I love the hell out of that movie. Super you know cool. I actually was, I was hired to play Hallie's dude, her boyfriend. Uh, Cuba. Uh, Cuba yeah, yeah. was signed to the role. Because y'all damn near look alike. Well, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't no. think so. <laughs> I don't think so. But he <laughs> he came in and did the role. He was signed, and then he left. And yeah. they brought me in to play it, and he came back. Yeah. After he found out they brought me. Oh. I was like, this is the bullshit right here. <laughs> oh, I was ready for Hallie. We was going to be doing it big. Trust me. Uh, Trust Mon- me. Monster ball big. Or- <laughs> uh, I just want to feel good. Uh, <laughs> if I say that shit too loud, you this know, is I always, <laughs> always love the stories that us non a listers have to tell about oh, shit. Is he going in on me? No, we all No, really. Because I, I got a zillion of those in my head. I'm thinking to myself, damn, this nigga got a couple of these stories off before I did. <laughs> <laughs> I got plenty. I'm going to tell plenty. about the time plenty. that me and Giselle was up for the same role down and down and down. No, tell us about Pam no, Greer, though, wait, dog. You were with Pam a break. Greer. Wait, we got to take a break because we want to hear about Pam Greer. I know, yes, I know right. the two straight niggas here do. So, <laughs> oh, 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 wow. Oh, wow. I love her we'll for her fashion. We'll wow. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Excuse me, sir. Can you say this, please? Good Get ready for the biggest tea spill since the Boston Harbor. Talk show host, Lonnie B, the out of control entertainer, pairs up with super famous and super funny, Coco Brown. And I'm meeting a lot of black men over the age of 35 telling me they rappers. <laughs> Some dreams need to die, okay? This is the exclusive interview everybody will be talking about for years to come. Years to come. Check it out now on YouTube.com, Coco Brown for live. So Steven Williams is over here. I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'ma let y'all know right now. They have me a little dark skinned nigga with gray hair. I got me a little Benjamin Buttons talking shit out the womb. It's Steven Williams' baby. Hey, yo, stop <laughs> he gonna come out of my cooch with a cowboy hat on. Like, yo, I'm here, nigga. I'm looking here. like Woody from Story, uh, Toy Story. No, my God, no. He did you say guy. Benjamin Buttons? Yeah, yeah, Buttons. She did. He gonna yes. come out 35. He gonna come out 35. <laughs> But <laughs> now you come out with a damn idea and uh, but drop no, a bike. You were saying before we got off the air, you were saying that, um, you know, you were talking about he worked with Pam Grizz. He, he should tell you know, us. Pam, I was yes. starstruck when I met Pam Grizz. She's you like, met you Pam met Pam Grizz? Yes, I met Pam. You met Pam Grizz. Yes. I would love to My meet her. I was in between a conversation Grill. of Pam Grizz and Janae yeah. Dubois. Well, well, Lona from Good Times. Wow. wow. Oh, wow. And, I'm the, and I'm just in that motherfucker, like, just taking it all in, like, I wanted to be both of y'all, like, for oh. real. At the same time, I think. Oh, my God. Oh it was like, Pam is my, that's my, that's my. You ain't never met Pam. Pam is like white feet, though. Ever. I've been missing out. Pam. 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 And you oh, couldn't even put it on pause back in them no, days. You just rushed up my my entry totally. You <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> just say. Hey yo, I'm did weak. Did he just say that? I'm about weak. Pam yes, he I'm did. Weak. yes, he did. Yes, he did. I'm weak. Yes. Have you yes, ever heard? He have you ever heard Eddie Griffin, Eddie Griffin shit on opening one of his shows? He opened that open with. Come on. I want it. to fuck. 
Michelle Obama. I can't even say it. I'm Stephen Williams. Can't even say it. <laughs> <laughs> How did he fuck me up with that? Shit? How did you? You not? just did the same damn oh, thing. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Because I was laying back thinking, oh, they all talking about Pam Greer, Pam Greer this, Pam Greer that. Uh -huh. I worked with her for two years. It was the most wonderful. I slept with her. Oh yes. Now this is like, see, you all, oh, y'all got to fill got this quiet room. Quiet room. Y'all got to fill this room. Like, like, this room. <laughs> this is a beautiful he like, love. He didn't tell us. I really had it. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> On a lunch break, we Yo. did. We Wait, here, did we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I, I got record this, man. Yeah, you gotta record this. I got a girlfriend in the corner. Y'all better not edit this. I, 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 I'm, I'm recording Don't y'all mess this please. up. I got a girlfriend in the corner over here with a truly shocked look on her face. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, truly shocked. Yeah. We shot we shot a show called Lynx for a couple of years. The Tim right, Reed right, created right. show. Yeah. Wonderful political. It was like the black cheers on the much more intelligent, much more, it's a different kind of comedy, a real political comedy. Yes. Um, and um, uh, we shot long hours. And on one afternoon, Pam and I, we took lunch together. Neither one of us were hungry. And I said, you know what, I want to take a nap. And she said, yeah, let's take a nap. And we laid down in her trailer and took a nap over a lunch period. That's what I mean by I slept with Pam. He actually <laughs> slept with her. Y'all ought to see the room. Man, I was getting jealous. Y'all ought to see the relieved faces in this motherfucking <laughs> room right now. I'm not going to lie. I got jealous. Like Their faces seconds. that just got relaxed like but you, you know would not crazy? believe. I'm a very straight woman, but and I was like, for real? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And I'm a very straight woman. Let me say this, that she is one of the most wonderful individuals I've ever worked with. I don't yeah. know if anybody knows her story, her history, but no. she is a survivor, yes. and she really enjoys and appreciates life, and she shares her life. Uh, with the folks around her. I wish she would share she, with uh, me. I I know. Know. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Pam. I was looking at him. He he had an innocent look on his face, and he said that there was no lasciviousness in his face when he said that. You done that fucked I, up half my I listeners. just want you to know that. <laughs> and I'm not even going to lie. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. Google it. And I'm not even going to lie. She still looks good to this day. She still looks good to this day. Look that shit up, nigga. That nigga just dropped some shit. But I don't know what it meant. Lasciviousness. Lascivious. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> um, <laughs> All the L words. Here's my <laughs> question. Did I use it correctly? You did. Okay. <laughs> you did. <laughs> you did. <laughs> you did. <laughs> but that's hell, if we didn't you hear it, it sounds great to the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> It's um, a lot of my listeners though right there looking up every L word. Ludicrous. Ludicrous. Lucrative. Lucrative. Lucius. 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 I'm lying. The whole I'm time. weak. <laughs> I'm weak. Oh. Have you guys ever actually like done a project together? Like, who Have you yeah. guys ever like, done yeah. a project together? Yeah, we did. We worked on LA Heat together. You worked on LA Heat together. Yeah, okay. Were we in the same okay. episode? Uh, a couple of them. Well, okay. I yeah, I thought so. You did yeah. a recurring. Yeah. Now, did I, you do a recurring character or two different characters? I, I was a recurring character. Okay, okay. Was, um, so we didn't have to. I, I didn't have to discern that I don't know you because I was so great. Shit, did you uh -oh. say? Uh -oh. wow. That's still <laughs> fucking with me. <laughs> saying, I'm so goddamn good. You don't even know me in my role. That's correct. <laughs> oh, no, that's right. He worked you with me and don't even remember me on LA. <laughs> that was, look, that obviously. <laughs> Obviously, that was oh, a good-ass night. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, that was a good-ass night of filming that, damn it. Okay. I am Anybody weak. Anybody got a tissue? Anybody got a tissue? Oh, yeah. uh, don't tissue? move. Don't Anybody move. Got a I am Anybody weak. Anybody have a tissue? I just spilled my drink, which I'm so glad I did early, and I'm so glad there was no electronic equipment around. Cause right. This is my motherfucking motif. This is what I do. It's right. okay, baby. Yeah, Yo, I while I got yeah. you now, I want to ask y'all this. Now, we know that you, you really enjoy working with Pam Greer, and mm -hmm. you're enjoying who you're working with now. Mm -hmm. Who has been someone that you have just loved working with, Evan, that you just was like, Damn, Whoa. I got to work again. Besides Steven? Besides Steven. Um, <clears throat> that I got to work Robert De Niro. I did a movie with Robert Ooh. De Niro, and he was just amazing. What movie was that? What was that? Uh, Mad Dog and Glory. Robert De Niro, Bill Murray, Uma Thurman. 
Did you have a story where you took them to like some nightclub in Chicago? I did. I took them to Spices, and I t where me and Bernie Mac was doing a show together. Bernie was hosting, oh, dear, dear. and then after we finished at Spices. I took them uh, out to um, the Cotton Club, which is in the hood. Oh, yeah, mm. which is which is in the hood, and at the time, the Cotton Club it was right across the street from the projects. And Robert De Niro, he told Bill Murray he'll see him later, and he came to the South Side with me, and hung out right across the street from the projects. They say Bobby like him chocolate honey. He oh, do. Yes. yes. I, ain't, I ain't gonna say no names, mm. but he left with one of my friends. <laughs> Damn. What happened? He what was happened? like, hey, Evan. Well, he I'm, married. I'm, he married a sister. Yeah, I was about to say, he did marry a black uh -huh. woman. Grace Hightower. This was, yeah. it, this was, couple up? This yeah. was way yeah. back in Spiritual. the day. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. This was way back in the day, so I don't know his status at the time. Right, mm. right, right. Now, let's keep it real. Steven, you know, Evan, what? is there anybody that you work with that you pray to God you never work with again in life? Mm. Are you willing you to say that? You don't have to say the name. You don't have to if you can't. Yeah, yeah. You got to be careful. I will say this. This, though he's in the Avengers mm. he was in a movie with me okay. you get and he don't like him either fuck up it, that's man. a damn he don't shame. Like so don't even say the name he don't okay. even like is he him black or white he black wow. no no he works yeah, than I am a moment of silence Damn. Because I have no idea. Dude kind of got that vibe, though. His attitude is. Dude just kind of got that vibe. Like, no, 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 no. The, other, the question was, is there anybody you worked with? Now, I think you're naming I somebody. I worked with him. Oh, okay. That's but right. you haven't, but you don't. But I didn't work with him. You either. don't know. Not to my knowledge. Right. I thought he came Because my answer to the question is going to be totally different than yours. Go on, finish Oh, okay. Up. Yeah. It, 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 Come on, man. They already ready? know. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I have nobody. I think the question was, is there anybody you work with you never want to work again? Damn. No, yeah. she said you would you would hate working with. Like, is yeah. it, have you got a situation where there's somebody that... No, no, the answer okay. would be no. The answer would be no, and I'll tell you why. Okay. Damn. Because I let a motherfucker know right off the bat, because they ain't paying me enough money to take nobody's shit. Right. Say and again, I let a motherfucker again. know right off the bat, right. I don't give a fuck about this job. You got to treat me with, you know, the respect right. I think I need for every yeah. moment that you and I are together. Right. Our every exchange must be respectful, because <clears throat> I can be a bigger asshole than any motherfucker you've ever read about. You, <laughs> you, know what I'm you think we didn't He's notice that? that. He, I'm about to say, like, I think it's very evident right now. Like, I am. It's become very That's evident. That's clear to the ah! entire very evident. audience. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker been waiting to get back at me. He, I'm, he lasered. He lasered. He lasered. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga needs to be shot. I need to shoot at him. <laughs> I've seen you. Oh, I watch you oh, out of I'm the corner weak. of my eye. <laughs> I'm weak. No, I'm really? how, do you, how do you think? I am so fucking loving. <laughs> I'm weak. This crowd, this I'm energy, so these you, people, these eyes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, am. it's always I'm good. Loving. It's always good yeah. to be He's around real. Yeah. I'm loving it. And this is really the first time I really started looking at everybody in the eye around this right. fucking room. And so it's always good to be learned. <laughs> it doesn't is, get this any is better. what I do. Okay? Wait, you talk about these eyes. This is Let what me I say do. this, Coke. Your up, eyes baby? look beautiful. Like you, she, are, you are beautiful. She dreaming. Those tired, beautiful she eyes. is dreaming. She can <laughs> hypnotize you. <laughs> if you allow you, because I only believe you can be hypnotized if you allow yourself. But if yeah. you allow yourself to be hypnotized, you yeah. can go the fuck under to places. Lashes, incredible. Like, oh shit! Y'all <laughs> don't make the baby right now. Don't make you Benjamin Buttons right it. now. Stay with it. Stay with it. I'm saying them some worms I'll catch. Um, yeah. Anyway, Lord have mercy. Uh, <laughs> um, in more recent oh, news, shit. you know what I'm saying. I got a question. <laughs> Did somebody say more recently? In other news. In other news. You know, other I, news. You know how, with, with, with both of you guys, you guys have been in the business a long time. Um, what is the one thing that has changed about the business that, that really just is yeah, like, right. you? what do you think has changed for the good? What do you think has changed for the bad? Stephen first. What? I'm trying to see what I look like without my cowboy hat. <laughs> he had my phone right now. I'm weak. <laughs> I'm weak. Oh, um, that, there's been so much shit that's changed in the business. Uh, the number one, the pay structure. Okay. Right. Pay structure is what I'm going to jump across. There, there, there were times when back in the old days for a pilot, you got X amount of money. You got a, you got a bigger sum of money back in the old days than you get now if right. you're not 
an A-list or a motherfucking reality star. I don't right. get oh, God. them. I really don't right. get them. And it's not that I don't like them. I just don't like the public who watches and supports those motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about now we're back in the day. No, yes, yes. It just irritates me. Come on, people. <laughs> yes. Deal with some good writing, some good creativity, some yeah. good artistry. Why good are you art. dealing with this motherfucking manufactured, scripted bullshit yeah. that they call reality? It is scripted. Okay, I can. But, but my whole Cut. thing is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm curious. Since Pick you spoke, up. look. Pick it up. Since you, <laughs> Pick it up. Since you, since you spoke on a pilot, <laughs> since you spoke on a pilot, was there one that you were like, eh, I don't know too much about that? You know what, what I'm saying? Since I that said you were look. Since you were, like, since you're talking about doing the whole pilot situation, is the there pilot. one that you were picked let, up let on? Let him go left. This is not even the conversation we was going with, but come on. I'm just saying. That not even yeah. where we I'm were going. Saying. I'm so glad you said I'm that because I've been. I'm tired of being the rude, inappropriate asshole. The industry I'm, yeah, yeah, you trying to go, nigga, can you stay I'm on track saying. with us, please? Yeah, he, spoke on, he spoke on, on the pilot. I want to hear this. I want to hear this. You spoke, on, you spoke on the fact that the pilot and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? The pilot? Yes. P-I-O-T. Like, like the beginning of a program. Jesus Christ. We trying to get one thing out. You don't want to go in there. Let's do this. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Steven, like, let's he entertain him. It, let's <laughs> entertain him. <laughs> I'm done. Never mind. Just never mind. Just never mind. Hey, get a big go. Run on, man. Come on. We got to do it. No, because like, I'm just curious. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever picked up, been picked up for a pilot or whatever, and you probably was looking at it and was like, nah. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever been in that situation? Where you turned down a pilot. Yes. I, I, no, 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 not a pilot. I'll tell you what I turned down. And I, I, I want to say, I want to give some of this some accolades. Mario Van Peebles. Yeah. Okay. I know him. Oh, yeah. New Jack yes. City. Know him, yeah. yes. Know that movie. Mario yes. directed a couple of episodes of 21 Jump Street. Okay. Right. Okay. While I was doing yeah, the right. Got you. A brilliant fucking director. Mm -hmm. right. This young man's brilliant. Man. Him and his dad, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they offered me a role in New Jack City. Here, here's the script. You know, take it. I want to give you this role in New Jack City. I think it was one of the cops, the one that. Masula Rashad, what's yeah. your brother's name? Please forgive me. I can't think of it. Um, and they did the scene with the, with uh, Judd Nelson. I remember the motherfucking white boy. That's like shameful. Judd, <laughs> Judd Nelson is the white yeah, cop, and right? And Not and the Ice T. He's like, the white cop. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I get off a, a roll. I forget which one it was. I probably could have had my choices of roles. Right. They so are. I take the script home and I read it. Right. It is horrible. Oh shit! It fucking sucked. Okay. Mario takes this script, reworks it, puts his creativity to it. Creativity, yeah. somebody fix that word for me. And, <laughs> and turns that motherfucker into not only a most entertaining movie, but a brilliant but a vehicle. Classic. A brilliant vehicle yeah. for, 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 yes. for, for, for Wesley. Yeah. And yes. it didn't hurt uh, Dave, who was the Dave Chappelle or Chris Tucker. Chris, 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 Chris Rock. Chris, Chris Rock. Chris Rock. Oh, that was Rock. Rock. Chris Rock. Rock. Oh, that was Rock. Rock. I got to say something about Tucker. Somebody remember that. Oh, okay. hell. No. Um, <laughs> so what was the original thing? Like something I hated or turned down? Oh, you turned like, down oh, the, shit. Pilot, the pilot, role of the, the pilot. pilot. Yes. Yeah. Never turned down the pilot, but I turned down the movie because the, the original script was so horrible. But what Mario took and did with it. Right. And for the motherfucker who wrote the original script. <laughs> Really sorry about the shit. I you just can't said. fix that now. Oh dog. yeah, right. Yo, <laughs> 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 uh, yo, we'll be right back, y'all, to Coco Brown show. C O C O A, uh huh. C O C O A, that's right. C O C O A, don't forget the A. C O C O A, Coco Brown. C-O-C-O-A, uh-huh, C-O-C-O-A, that's right, C-O-C-O-A, don't forget the A, C-O-C-O-A, Coca Brown. I'm a grown-ass woman, one funny mama, one sexy mother, the Coca Brown Show, where grown folks come to sip tea and catch the tea. Uh-oh, mommy got the microphone again. I am weak as hell. Get that picture y'all got up there. I am weak as hell. Because that's me tonight, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah, I asked that question once before, didn't I?
It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> y'all, y'all I, I did ask that Russia. question. And y'all do not understand. If y'all are not Tell me your name again. right now, if y'all are not watching oh, sure, sure, sure. on okay. Foxtrap Radio right I'm now, weak. y'all are missing some iconic shit this evening with the legendary Stephen Williams and the legendary Evan Lionel. This is just, I'm so like, this is some funny shit. I don't even, please, oh, c shout out your song that we just listened to. I'm so done. I don't know where it's going. Dude. <laughs> that was 50 Shades Yo. of Grey, my soul featuring Soul Pacino, out now, iTunes Yo. everywhere, 12, 16 album out right now, iTunes everywhere. Go on, six, wow. new album dropping June 6th, y'all get ready, new thing Yo. coming soon. Yes. Wow. Okay. Okay. wow, that was hot. So, that okay, was. let's let's talk about some social, let's, let's talk about some shit that's out that's trending wow. right now. Mm-hmm. Um, what y'all think about the whole Wendy Williams thing, the whole Wendy Williams divorce, and apparently her husband had a side dude. And dude, wow. not just a side you woman, know, a side dude. Wow. I, honestly, I'm I'm gonna wow. tell y'all some Same real out. shit. I I came up in a family where I was the child of the mistress. You feel me? So I'm used to that shit. My mom didn't had no problem being a mistress. She said I like being a mistress way better than I like being uh, a wife. That's the realest shit I ever wrote. And then she came on stage. Bernie Mac was hosting a show. She stood up and came to the stage and talked about all that to the women and let them know how real she is. So now you know why I'm so real. Wow. Yes, you are very real. I would love to just sit down and talk to your mom. Oh, you will, Coke. (laughs) Just just pick pick her brain. But you know, I've heard that before that a lot of women... Um, say it's better to be a mistress or a side chick than it is to be the main chick or the wife because you get treated better. Well, that's the difference when you say or side chick. A side chick is not equivalent to a mistress. Okay, oh, break, break it down. Break it down. Break it down. Come on, look, yeah. look, look there. Break it down. Da, 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 da. Break it down. Uh, hey. <laughs> hey, man, let's be clear, hey, man. man. Let's be clear, <laughs> man. <laughs> 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 uh, a, side, a side chick is somebody you just fucking randomly, uh, okay? That's what a side chick is. You okay. fucking her randomly, and she really, really is just there for the fuck. Uh, the mistress is your other woman that uh, you take uh, care of. You take care of that woman. My mom, uh, Stephen, if you don't stop. <laughs> I mean, he was good. Hey, you got to give it to him. He was good. Like a motherfucker. Nigga, I can go keep going, Evan. Like this is working, motherfucker. This is working. Hey, he was giving you back. Go tell Look, your story. He was giving you background music. I got music. the you music, you got the story. He was giving you background go. music. Go, go, go. Back, Look, the background music was real go. just now. Background music was real. <laughs> As you were saying. But the, but the, but the, the real deal is, mama, <laughs> it's crazy, <laughs> Real deal is, I would see arguments as a child. Like my mom would, my mom actually hit him in the head with a flower pot, right? God damn. And he fell down two flights of stairs. And she was like, oh, Lord, I didn't hurt Charlie. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> real shit. Dude, real shit. Really? <laughs> oh, oh, we can't be uh, real. We yeah. can't be real. <laughs> this too real for, no, for your no, audience, no, Coke. No, this no, too no, real. No, no, no. 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 So as a boy, I looked at my mom, uh, and and she, it was crazy because she was one woman. Like I told you, you changed up today. She was a she was a nice woman to him at first. Then she became the mean woman. Then she became the sensitive woman. She was like, "Oh Lord, I didn't hurt Charlie," and she ran down the stairs. He laying there knocked out. You feel me? And he had to get up and go to the hospital. He had eight stitches. And what shocked me as a boy is he came back to the house <laughs> after he left the hospital. Steve, where you going? Steve, you got to come back. One. We didn't lost Steve, one. you got to come back. Yeah, we didn't lost Man one. down. Man down. I'm weak. <laughs> Man Steve, you got to come back. Steve. Steve. He know I'm talking about what's real. He know my mom. Okay. He even knows okay. my mom. For the okay. audience, he knows my mom. All right. And my mom's so gangster. When she around him, he had his best behavior. I had never seen him like so polite. 
Yes, when my nice mom and polite and very me, I'm like, oh, please, yeah, yeah. please, mom is a real gangster. Oh, he a whole new person. Gee, mom is a real gangster. So he came back from the hospital and was sitting up with her. And I remember thinking as a like a 10 year old, man, what? I never be with a woman like this. When he came back to the house, what did she do to him right. that he came back to the house? And you know what the argument was about? Yeah. The argument was about he didn't show up with the right amount of money that week. Oh, oh wow. hell yeah. Oh, well, hey, I could go for that. Yeah. I'll go for that. Yeah, yeah, mama, so now he tell me, young, tell me, tell me up. what side wow. chick has that argument. Um, he ain't come back with the right amount of it's money. It's a difference between a side chick and a mistress. Oh, or short yeah, money and the right well, money. Well, well, oh. Can I spill your drink again? Oh, you, <laughs> oh, well, I'm done with you. Hey, we need a bib. Right. We need a bib. Cut him three. off. Oh, cut, cut him really off, bartender. Let He's me cut off. Alcohol. He's enjoying his life. I'm living my I'm best life. Hey, I'm I ain't going back and forth with you, niggas. I realize that I've crossed the line. I do realize that. Please tell me, JJ, I did not pick it. So my apologies to everyone. That, um, that, and um, I will um, fix this um, straight away. Yeah. Now, we just hungry. We fine. We the, can go eat after this. The pros and the cons. Straight. We ain't going to be good. Well, Everything's so, yeah. so, right. so, so good. Did, Everything's okay, fine. Nigga, hey, good. hey. hey. Hey, Cookie Man. Hey, Cookie Man. There you go with the damn hey, inter man. In imitation. Did I answer the question for no, you your totally audience? Right. Right. Now, let's, let's give it 100. Uh, Y'all are two grown-ass men. It's grown-ass men in this room. Yeah. Right. Now, I'm not going to let put Leek yeah. in this because I'm sure his wife is listening, so he is not part of this question. Okay. And Leek, what do kill. You, what do you prefer, a mistress or a wife? Oh, I'm gone. Mm, mm. <laughs> That's a very good question. Me, I'm not, I'm not me, let's even be real. in that arena. So. Me, let's be real. Ding, I, ding. Haven't, I haven't had a good wife. I was married for 11 years and together for 15, and he know all about that shit, too. That's why he got up and walked away. Just fucking Hey, yo. Hey, yo. And I know he's had at least two wonderful fuckers. Could be angry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, I'm weak. <laughs> Real this shit ever wrote. I've never. Uh, see, because people don't understand what a good wife is. Okay, what is sit, a sit good down, wife? Steve. Sit down, Steve. A good sit wife, down. a lot sit of. Down. This is on the real. A lot of people, a lot of people on the real, a lot of people think they're good wives and they're not. A good Dang wife is a, a good wife. Is my you mic actually, on? Terry asked you, oh what you is a good wife? Let's stay focused. You did not have to wait for a moment. And, and, and I was really focused <laughs> and about to <laughs> answer that question. I was really about, <laughs> like, on the real, I talk about what's real and I drop real knowledge. If no, the ladies no. want to actually right. be. Well, I think it's grown ass women in this room that can handle yeah. the truth. Right. Okay. So we want the truth. Then handle the truth on the real. If you are not elevating a man like women go how can he just walk away from me like i'm nothing because you haven't made a difference in my life since right. i met you my right. life is at the same position it was when i met you as it is right now so if you if my life changed if you elevated my life if if you were an asset instead of a liability then you're a good wife i haven't had an asset every woman that's been in my life thus far has has been a liability, yeah. but we can't talk about okay. what's real. So, I'm not guess, a so, liability. So, no. I'm talking about women I dated. Oh, so. yeah, we, yeah, that's yeah, what that's we was that's like. why I tried to stop you because I didn't want you to jump Look, off. She was about to oh, get personal. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh. Yeah, he got up. I Look, never yeah. dated Evan Lionel. Ever. <laughs> that's that's good. Good. But only the women. I just heard the greatest rap. Back to the real question. I was really wanting to know what Terry said. What? Are the qualifications? What are the different types of a you know positive one? What does that look like? What does a good wife look like? Lawyer she is, come on. I want to and she is this. I need another answer. So, so, so what let, is she me, to let me, to me? Let me is, what does she do? Who is she? It, what does she look like? But let me let me oh, yeah. let me answer that. Go ahead. Uh, uh, a good woman only has to have one quality. Yeah. Loyalty. Mm. That's it. Loyalty. Okay. Loyalty, That's loyalty outweighs everything. everything. Mm -hmm. Loyalty outweighs love, outweighs mm -hmm. sex, outweighs mm -hmm. all that bullshit mm -hmm. because 
as long as you loyal to somebody, then right. you, it's unquestioned. No matter what no I matter do, what. no matter how high, how matter right. how low, you're not going nowhere. But do you you're want loyalty? Okay. That's, are you willing that's for to see. give that ain't for me. Okay, I need you, more than loyalty. Okay, are you willing to be loyal in order to receive loyalty? loyalty. Of course. Of right. course. But what you, is loyalty? Because some of y'all don't blur the damn But you gotta understand, but 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 men's I, perception of loyalty come from their background. Like for me, my perception of loyalty would be I come from you. Everybody know my background and how I give it up. So I come from that. So, so you, you want to bond it to your client. You want a bitch that'll go out there and light right a nigga up if you no, need to. No, I want to. the polar opposite. I got this street shit locked down. You need to be. You need to be so straight and narrow. Yeah, you're back. Oh. Okay. Yeah, okay. These, because you need to teach me something that I don't know. Right. Now that oh, goes, no. hold up. That oh. goes back exactly to what I said. She needs to be an asset and elevate your life. But me and you That's chopped it up ever, about that. That's already. right. We oh, did. We right. Know. I did. And I heard right. Steve Harvey right. say that same thing. Yeah. And I'm saying I'm just being honest, Coke, and I'm not talking about well, my, my friends not, and, and I, my hold on, hold on, uh, Koya. You. I'm not talking about my friends. I'm talking about I, I'm talking about oh, the man, women you. that I that say Evan is my husband and I want to build a life with him. Build is the key word in that sentence. If we're going to build a life together, let's actually build a life. Every woman in my life has come up on me. I have right. not come up Ooh, on them. Right. That sounds like a personal. Ooh, I'm, just gonna, I'm just going to be honest Look, with you because I just feel right. like in my situation, I'm, I'm going to speak for the gays. I'm sorry, that's why I'm here. I'm going to speak for the gays. We don't look for a bitch to elevate us, goddammit, bitch. I'm going to do this for me. I'm going to be beat, goddammit. If you're going to add some shit to what I got going on, that's fine and perfect, but I got right. what I got going on. I'm not looking for you to come and give me no check and be like, oh, right. I'm going to push you up. That's why every bitch is leaving you, because you ain't pushing them back. If y'all ain't, look, if y'all ain't building no foundation, there they, is nothing. So they will leave. If you don't have a foundation, there building. is nothing. He said building. Whoa, whoa, building is the question down. if you're going to hey, get married. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. I've been okay. hanging with you all night, man. I didn't know you. <laughs> to the Coca Brown show. We just gonna tune the fuck out at hey, this point. Yo. Stevie wanted to know this nigga again. Hey, really? Yo. Like, okay. Yo, we gotta call y'all. Hold on. We gotta call. We gotta call. We gotta call. Uh, 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 we gotta one call. Of my, one of my exes gotta, been called uh, in. Nigga. Oh shit. Hey, yo, that's why you might not wanna find you now. Hold up. Yo, call him. What's up? It's Coca Brown. Welcome to the Coca Brown show. Hey, yo. Hey, Coco. How you doing? I'm good. How you doing, baby? Yeah, Who's yeah. this? Lindsay in the house. What's good, y'all? How y'all, family? Hey, what's up, baby? I would like Nigga, to ask a question you. about what makes a good wife, seeing I'm going to be, seeing I'm marrying mine in 12 days. Oh, congratulations! Hey. You getting married in? Hey. Can you hear me? You getting married in, in 12 days? 12 days, sir. 12 days. Oh, my brother, my Mary brother. I like Lionel, as Gavin just said. Congratulations, my brother, and yeah. I'm sorry to hear about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Hey, hey I'm, a, I'm a man, my best friend, the person I can talk to about any and everything good and right. bad. And not only that, she prays for me and she prays with me. So, Negro, I'm, loving I'm loving you. I'm loving you. I'm loving your relationship. I'm loving everything y'all got coming. And, and y'all ain't got nothing but goodness coming. You just had a jolt of about nine people in the room sending you extra good energy yes, okay yes, yes. hashtag good vibes and, only and, baby and that's a part of dog. that's a part of elevation yes. one of the biggest thank problems thank you for calling baby thank yes. you for calling Ten people, baby man. Ten and people. one of the biggest problems <laughs> in... i sent you some pics from the wedding shower one love hey love you baby thank you um you know what? i ain't gonna ahead, lie bro. real talk i mean i get it though when i was hearing what he was saying i want to be with my homie lover friend I mm. think the biggest problem I have is that once dudes stop fucking me, they stop being my friend. Mm. Whoa, mm. shit! Mm. I am friends with all the motherfucking women I've ever slept. <laughs> like, what on, the on, hell? What the hell? Why you gotta stop being my fucking friend when you fight? Right. Like, what's the problem? You know what I'm saying? You you were my friend, you were my homie to get the pussy. Why now you get it? Now you my nigga and you got to try to rule over me and dictate to me, tell me how to be, how to walk, how right. to talk. Yeah. Nah, nigga. Right. That's Let me be your homie, no, nigga. No, Let me be your friend and fuck me too. Why I got to be yeah. one or the other? I don't yeah. understand. I'm going to tell you what it is. It's called testosterone. Testosterone fucks men up. They don't even know it until they lose it. I lost my lose about way. 10 years ago, so I understand okay. what the fuck <laughs> testosterone <laughs> is now. 
And most of that motherfucking ill behavior that men do yes. is caused by too much motherfucking testosterone or an inability to control the amount of testosterone that they have. Which is what you've been doing all day. Is that what it is? <laughs> I, I knew he had a finish for me. Oh my God. I knew he had a finish oh for me. Yes. I don't <laughs> start shit Stephen when Williams. he's in the room unless I know he's oh going to finish shit. Okay? Y'all, we go. If we go I get up and smack you in your fucking face, it's because I know Evan going to kick your ass. Hey, look. So we'll be back, y'all, in the Coca Brown Show. Oh my God. C O C O A. Uh huh. C O C O A. That's right. C-O-C-O-A, don't forget the A-C-O-C-O-A, Coca Brown. I'm a grown-ass woman, one funny mama, one sexy mother. The Coca Brown Show, where grown folks come to sip tea and catch the tea. Uh-oh, mommy got the microphone again. Oh, oh yeah! Coke, what you said was real. What he said was real, that it's a different type of woman that you're talking about. And what I said was, I haven't met, I haven't been in but a relationship my, my with that type hey, of woman. Hey, 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 what Evan, I'm Evan, saying Evan. to you, Evan, is you tend to chase the same type of woman. I don't chase no women. Okay, 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 okay. you pick them. They oh, okay. pick you. This could be because... worse than sponsorship. You got to go home to one of these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> fuck around and be worse than corporate sponsorship. For you. Choose your words. Cause nigga, said, you can't live with me. He oh, said, sorry. choose your words wisely. <laughs> I'm saying that you the might have missed the one me. because she didn't fit your exterior prototype. <clears throat> wow, wow. Well Ooh, then, she called you a picky motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be Michael. Michael, what's his name? Michael. So Keel. then, blame Keel. my mother, cause my mother was always glamorous and always beautiful and always took care of herself. <laughs> so I want a woman that does the same thing. But there are women that do that and come in every shade and size. And I'm just saying, I haven't met her yet. But I haven't been in a relationship. But will you even give a woman that does not fit your exterior prototype the time of day? I don't wow. think you will. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. That's I, I don't think, I don't think you will. Judgment. Hold on, hold on. Because we like what we like. Yes, but, but, but let me but say. I like what I like, but they got a job. But, but, and then we have another real revelation, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, like, another like. testosterone burst. But, but, like, you what cannot the fuck say women like. ain't shit Coke. or you ain't met the right one. Like oh, I said okay, in my now, act. Now it's starting to sound angry. No, I'm not angry now. You got to get a point out. Shit, I like that. I got to go. Catching the same fish, you can't blame no goddamn body you sick of catch. But but Coke, let me say this. You know me. We've been knowing each other right. for twenty plus years. Right. But you saw who my last lady was. That she wasn't my type. But my last lady was not my physical type at all. That is why were you such an yes. opposite position. But why were you with her? My because last I, lady wait, 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 wasn't wait. my type. So why wasn't. Were, why, why the were you fuck with was her? Because she I liked her yeah, insides. Yeah, yeah, Coco go, said, Coco this said. This is delayed reaction. No, but the insides right now. Y'all y'all not wait, even wait, hearing me. No, Coco listen. said you shallow because you pick a certain type. That's incorrect. I'm being honest with you. My last lady certainly was not my type. Men I like say you what shallow, was going nigga. On. If you truly on, being on, honest, on, 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 what? On, 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 you would have said. She was on, pretty. Yes, right. She was pretty, but not my type. But did she not turn out? like all the others no no i just left her alone because she was at at the most difficult time of my life when my cousin was found dead in his apartment that's an extremely difficult time he's 20 26 years old found dead in his apartment in chicago my whole family torn apart and two months before that my aunt my mom's youngest sister died suddenly out of nowhere. So I'm going through all this grief. In addition to that, I ain't seen my three babies and I'm fighting in court to see my babies for seven years. You know that. And she, the woman I got in my life, acting crazy as hell with me. me acting crazy this. as hell. But let me ask you That's this. not the time. Can I just be bro. devil's advocate what the fuck yeah. is for a hot, hot second? Go ahead, Coach. How long were you with this woman? Six years. How long have you been fighting this battle? Seven. 
Let me ask you this. Can I be devil's advocate? Yes. How much did you expect the bitch to take? She didn't have to be there uh, six months if she didn't want to. She knew what she was getting into when I came in. But how many of us have walked into a situation knowing damn well it's going to end wrong because we feel we can handle it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Ain't man. nobody oblivious to that shit. Yeah. Come on, we that always was think my we marriage. can fix it. We, that was we, my marriage. We always think we can fix it. You talk about a MacGyver. That's that was my marriage. I walked into her life. She was horrible, that, and I, I I helped her thinking she would change, and she never changed. I'm just telling y'all my life. Mm -hmm. That's right. all it is. But like real. On, on some G shit, it just like everybody's meant to go through their own individual situation. Yeah. Situation. Yeah. Whatever you choose. Right. And it's your job to just take from it what you need right. and then yeah, move Joy, on to the next situation exactly. and then build from what you learn. See, That's everybody right. on here yeah. saying we need somebody to talk about what's real. Thank right. y'all very much. I'm talking yeah, about my actual life. Man, pass bullshit, the phone you down. You better keep the receipt, Pass the phone down. Yeah, there you go. Condone no, go read it, nigga. If you're going to take it, I'll give it to somebody else. <laughs> so, trying to find Don't out. Don't give it to him. He ain't going to be able to see it anyway. So. <laughs> he need glasses to see it. So. Right. I couldn't see him. Like, he wanted to know what the people are saying about the chick. So this chick, this chick, Chawana, she just trying to get you to come to Philly to smash. Okay, so <laughs> give us somebody that's credible and relevant. Right, um, Yo, his hat that came off like nine times this whole day. He's enjoying his stuff. He, if you listen to what he's saying, he's I'll getting a lot of people him. together. He's these dropping, these single people her. out here that need I'm to be listening to what Uncle's saying. Because oh I'm surely oh clear that he can pull a lot of your bitches well, you out You and I right should now. go on the road mm -hmm. so you, and should, hey, you, you and I have got something you let me know when. that we you should combine. That's what I'm feeling. We've got something that we should come back. How did we get off Pinky in the brain? Damn it, we're going to be international out there. Red and stupid. But on the topic of you finding the right woman and whatnot, what if you have all every single attribute that you've been looking for? Why are you banging She doesn't look that way. You know what I'm saying? You got that shit resonates over the Everything you've I'm been with it. For See, into this is what's shocking to me. No, 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 and and no, this no, is. I got to Hang on. Oh, go ahead, Steve. Oh, here we go. Because you made such a. Emphasis about it. No, nigga, he does not have everything. Everything. Mm -hmm. Because she ain't got them looks that he looks That's what I'm right. saying. Oh, she's missing the look. Missing the look, but got the attributes, though. Well, Steven, know you made anybody, okay. and he's saying that it has to not have the look everything. before you even entertain it. Yeah. That's not but true, though. You can't be That's not true. I'm just being Nothing ready. that may not even true. be similar to critical. The you can't be missing nothing that's similar to critical. I don't care how. That motherfucker could be filthy rich, smart as blood, but if she got a physical thing that she, uh, something that your visual ain't yeah. liking into, yeah, you ain't gonna never it get over happening. it. You will never get to learn the rest of that shit because the, the, the never be past that it. attack that is attacked initially. Ooh. It's normally sight. Church, we need to take up an offer. If you don't like the way a motherfucker looks, you normally don't engage. That's it. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's, it. that's, that's it. Coco. Coco. That's it. Not that's Coco that's spilling that's drink. That's it. Now that's she's the truth. That's, it, that's the truth. Yeah. You can say what you want. I tell people all the time. You got to hear a motherfucker, smell a motherfucker, feel a motherfucker at almost the same time you see a motherfucker in order for you to even, like I said, even engage a motherfucker. Come on. Right. That's that. I think that's ninety nine point nine percent. We'll make some compromises. Oh, you know, we'll right. make some compromises, but nothing's perfect. Of. Nothing's but you'll perfect. Nothing's perfect. You'll never be all in. You'll never be all in. What is so all in? Kind of I need you to address to all, all in. All in is Coco. good acid, man. All in is all some right. of the shit I used to have in the seventies. <laughs> in the 70s, I had shit that put you all in. in. 70s, Trust right me. Or, but right or wrong, there are going to have to be some kind of compromise because you can't be 100% oh, with yeah. everything but that you're looking for. But there are people out here yeah. that are truly living their life looking for that 100%. Right. They are looking and looking and, they, and looking. And, and, and they're feeling years. like it is something wrong in the universe right. that they cannot find this 100%. That's because a they've been of, listening to other people other than themselves. Thank you, Jim. Come on, yeah. preach. I mean, that's true. That's because true. Because let's keep it real. When you see, when you, when you see an attractive person with an unattractive person, right. and mm -hmm. that, in our eyes, 
Right. And that attractive person is looking at this unattractive person like they are the cat's me out. Me. Right. They are the shit. And you're trying right. to figure out what the fuck yes. did you're you right. see in this motherfucker? You're absolutely right. right. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Right. But then you see two pretty motherfuckers that are together and you go, ooh, that's a beautiful couple. They, mm -hmm. they go together. But you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. But nine times out of ten, they're only with each other for the anesthetic. And right. every once in a while. For the appearance. Yes. Right. For the show. Yes. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because I, I asked to do, I mean, I didn't say the woman was ugly. I didn't say that. What I said was, oh my God, you guys, your energy, like how long y'all been together? It's like, dude, it's like you love her. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, and, I, and, and in my mind, I'm thinking, this bitch is hideous. And this dude right. is fine as fuck. Like, right. how did this happen? I see it all the time. You know well, what I'm saying? Yeah, and he told me, he he said, and he told me flat out, it's like he answered my question without me answer, asking mm -hmm. me. He said, well, you know what, Coco? He said, real talk. He said, but he said she was the first woman I saw her heart before I saw her ass. Wow. And I was like, wow. And There's a lot now of mind you, she had a nice body, but that bitch face was But, but, the, but, but the thing about it Damn. is, Coco. You heard the But she ain't had no big ass donkey ass or but, nothing like that. But, okay, now we're saying this about the guys, but we mm. do the same thing. Oh, absolutely. Okay? I've turned a lot of ugly niggas down. We, I do we it look every day at in my DM. And it's like that Stop. spark <laughs> first before you see the heart. You looking at. According to psychology, the first attraction is a physical attraction. Absolutely. That's right. Absolutely. Okay? That's right. So the so the fault me saying that I'm I'm physical, that's the initial human attraction. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line is I've had women that that weren't physically attractive that I dated and was in a relationship mm -hmm. with and what broke us up was their own insecurity. Mm -hmm. Why is it that some of the most gorgeous of women are so insecure? I, you know, my That's mom why we is got gorgeous. A bunch of single, my mom is one of the most. Instagram, oh. only, only third trap chicks on Instagram that niggas. Third trap. Yeah, you know what third <laughs> trap is, right? I love them third trap. They fun to like. Okay. But you, the third trap, you ain't anybody ever noticed. That's that why you glowing, shit? nigga. <laughs> well, that's how you glow. He just told on himself. And then one of my niggas looking all no shape butter glowed up. So he done went and got that's some thirst trap problem. pussy. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, good. Don't good. stay in thirst trap. Well, they thought okay. they, they turned flips on your shit, I heard. But, but, really? bloop, 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 bloop. but the whole thing is them chicks be single. Right, they be single. Have all these chicks that niggas be lusting over and oh right. my god, oh my right. god, and be love. They don't be having nobody. Ain't nobody They be lonely up. as fuck because they be crazy. Facts. That's the but, real shit. But it be, I'll but give it be you something. To that's that. the but real be, shit. But it, feel me though. Like, seriously. but it be yeah. some. But it be. But a lot of chicks. But a lot of women don't realize that they oh, don't. You crazy they don't with me? I didn't really mean that. Try to study the that. intellect of the nigga that they have. Right. But right. They don't understand that. It's certain shit that just some niggas that got real moral, that got real, that really stand for something. Mm. That thing. I'm not gonna let you say to me. I'm not gonna let you talk to me. I'm not gonna let you. Right, me man, manhood, right. grown right. man, and you can't compromise my you manhood, manhood right. at all. Like if, for me, like I've been through some real shit out here. So right. when I think about the shit that I've been through, like you're not gonna talk. What you said? Yep. What to me? Yeah, exactly, crazy. exactly. You know what I do? You that know what is, I've been through? Exactly. You can't is it never is it what me. they're saying? Is, is it what they're saying or how they're it's saying? What no, they're saying. saying. Or what how they're saying? saying. Because the thing about it is. Sometimes when we ask questions, and mm -hmm. it depends on how we ask, but when we ask questions, it can be interpreted as you're controlling. Nah, I don't got no woman asking me where I'm at, what you're doing, where you're going, where you've been, how you... I don't got well, no problem I be with getting that. that. Okay. I be I get, I I get that. Okay, but but I have a problem. But some do. But some do. I have man, that problem. If I'm your man, then you're entitled to them questions. Like especially because you may, it might not be, it might not be about me cheating. It might just be, you know, you know I'm a hood. You what know, you say you now? Know you, now. You, you know how I move out here in these streets. So you might have a right. genuine concern about my whereabouts. You exactly. may hit me like, okay, hey, where you at? Could it's you know not. Nigga out here shaking? But see, it's not I'm that. They, uh, the ones I have is hitting me because they want to control where I'm but at. Sometimes, but you gotta let that shit go out your own ego and look at yourself and look mm. at and think about the shit that you're doing. Because sometimes oh. a woman will pay attention to you and know that you out here foul or mm. know that you out here moving, doing shit, and she'll just ask the questions based off that shit. Mm. It's mm. not even. It's mm. not even just like me. If a chick fuck with me, she know I'm out here shaking. 
then mm-hmm. she's gonna really be like, I'm not. If she call me and be like, babe, where you at? What you doing? Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna take that as, oh, I'm insecure. You think I'm cheating? What you calling me for? Nah, nah. she may have a genuine concern about my whereabouts. Mm-hmm. It's clear to explain that you have a genuine concern about a person's whereabouts. I'm from the south side of Chicago, and I'm from the streets. I don't give a fuck what I look like. If you're a real motherfucker, then what's good Um, for the goose is good. Come on, tell it, tell it, tell it, tell it, tell it. Nigga, you act like I'm an afterthought, nigga. I'm gonna treat you like yesterday. And let me say this: I don't have a problem with that. Who's bringing what to the table? You treat me like I'm an afterthought. I'm going to treat your ass like that. And I don't have a problem I give what I get. I give what I fucking get. That's right. Real talk. Because the thing about it is, a lot of us are givers, but we... Sometimes we we get you gotta stop that shit, though. Terry. I know. I ain't her. giving Take shit her. no goddamn. No, bro, no, no. I'm backing up. I got you a new done, lift too, honey. I'm done. I'm done. Ah. 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 Ah. I'm done. Ah.
I don't think how much I mean, we plan. Everybody's got a plan. People have been on many levels of success mm -hmm. or failure. Right. But in the big scheme of things, I don't really think you have a choice. We just think we do. We go through life just doing shit. shit. And a lot of it we think we're doing. Mm -hmm. And we're not wow. for a great deal of it. Shit wow. happens. Listen to some yeah. of our sayings sometimes. We are some of the wisest motherfuckers on the planet. Some of the shit that's been said, everything is everything. Mm. They give Socrates and Plato and shit credit for they that. Do. The universe is all connected. But we've had that. It came down from somewhere, got to us as mm -hmm. everything is everything. Right. As mm -hmm. opposed to life is the da 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 da. Hey, Sarah, Sarah. You know, right. I take get account. up in the motherfucking morning. That is your job. That is yeah. everybody's job. Get up in the morning. I do not give a fuck what you've got planned. Some shit's going to happen that uh -huh. day. The universe it is going to make go sure down of that. in history as what happened. And whether you planned it or not, it fucking happened. I think all you can do, and all uh, we can do right. is record shit. Right. There you go. We really can't control a motherfucking thing, even That's though we may true. think we are. We may have a date book that lays out our day, hour to hour, minute to minute, and we may follow that motherfucker precisely and still not know whether the day happened the way you wanted it to or whether the day happened the way the universe wanted it to. Very true. Just get the fuck up in the morning. And make it happen. Let it happen. It happen. Let it happen. Oh, dog, but Preach. let it happen. Accountability, Coke, on the real. See, I've been honest flat out about me. We could say everything about everybody else, but about me. I've been honest about me. My biggest problem is if I get in a relationship with a woman, I don't know how to deal with I'm I'm I I'm not I'm not having sex no more. I'm I'm not having sex tonight. You want to do this all the time? I'm not so going to do this. Again, Go find somebody else. You're basing a relationship to do this. on sex. I'm not basing a relationship on sex. I'm simply giving you my experience. So if she bleeding, you still want to fuck her. That no. Like no, 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 no. Because it's six days or seven days out the month. You know, no, no, no. Y'all not, not letting let me finish and y'all not hearing me because y'all have judgment. Y'all have judgment in your mind. Y'all have judgment. And if y'all would just let me say the truth about me without judgment, then I can say it. He always like this. Okay, go ahead. So, okay. So, 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 real quick, real quick, like, no judgment. If I'm going to have a woman in my life, I need her to actually be complete. If, if she's not and I'm, my needs are not met, I'm going to go get them met. Is no, anybody ever Hold on. Are, are you going to let me finish? Let me finish, Coke, because I'm being real. We got to close the show up so okay. I get you to so, wrap this up. Because okay. we got to close the show right, up, baby. I'm sorry, right. but he's giving me the, the side. I see it. I'm sorry. I see you just going to overlook it unless you identify what you're looking for. Regardless if she look cute or ugly. I don't fuck nobody ugly, but I get you. I bet you. I never said that. I never said me, that. It's going to be I never said that, Koya. I never said that. qualifications that I'm looking for. I never said that, Koya. That's not what I said. That's not what I said. Little bro, well, that's, not like that's not what I said. That's not what I said. What you start out with, you gotta continue. Continue it. I'm saying go forward and actually that's be who mean. you pretend to be. Right. Don't flip uh -huh. on me because once well, you flip on me, I'm not gonna be loyal to you, like C said. I'm gonna let you know. All right, so this way you at now, I'm back in the streets because you're not the right one, and the white right one is still waiting for me. We gonna now, have to continue this conversation. I hate that we're in the show right now because this got real deep. We need yes. a Dr. Sherry tonight. And like I said, we need a yes, Dr. Sherry tonight. We need we a Dr. Sherry tonight. Ambitions is probably going to start airing in June. It's a Will Packer show. It's a uh, Thank you. Oprah Network. Uh, yes. Stephen Williams, uh, Robin Givens, Essence Atkins, yes. Brian White, Kendrick Cross, Karan yes. Wright, a whole bunch of Yes, yes. Of Ambitions on all. Where can they find you at, Evan Lionel? Uh, back in Los Angeles this week. Uh, J-Spot Friday night, Big Def Jam, uh, uh, Throwback Returns. 
I'll see y'all there. I'm hosting that Evan Lionel Facebook and the real Evan Lionel IG. All right, Come man. Come out and see him. Damn. He's awesome. Damn. Where you at, Terry? Where you at? Where you, where you, where you, you want to shout hey. out real quick? Yeah, make it quick. Uh, uh, yeah, I got something going on this weekend, but uh, just follow me at, at Terry Crook Media Facebook, Terry.Crook Instagram, and you'll you'll see where I am this week. Hang on. Okay. Y'all used to, okay, go. Okay, you see Grace. I am Steve Quaid everywhere. Tune in next Monday. What is it? Monday coming up. Yes, next Monday. We will be in. debuting my new single first here on the show. Yay! Yeah. 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 I am people uh, following me everywhere. All right, Damn. what you mean, babe? This is a crazy ass show. You can find me at Lake Long eighty eight on um, all social media platforms. And I would like to say that uh, Ruby D and Ozzy Davis are my Black Love Couple of the Week. Okay, wow. great, yeah. Okay, I got one last thing. What just, about you, IMC? Oh, oh. I mean, I, uh, I am Queen Al Ford. There it is. She there it is. For me. I am Queen Al Ford. Hit me up. <laughs> All right, and make sure y'all come check me out this week. If you are in the New York City area, I will be in Brooklyn at the Laughaholics Holics Comedy Diner in Brooklyn. Come check me out. I got one show Wednesday, one show Thursday. Thursday is sold out, but Wednesday still has tickets. And Friday, I'll be in Augusta, Georgia at Club Oasis with my boy, comedian Ski Carter. Make sure y'all check me out. Coco Brown, C O C O. A. Brown. Don't forget the A. Google me, baby. See y'all next week. The Coco Brown Show. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you, Evan Lionel. We love y'all, man. Stephen Williams, Evan Lionel. Iconic. This is what we do on the Coco Brown Show. Keep it real all